Okay, we're back. This is Paul, Inventor 3. Uh, let's see, since our last recording we've improved the sturdiness of our antenna pole here. We only had uh, three guide wires. Now we have eight guide wires. Or guide strings. There's four off of there. Probably can't see the one coming straight at us that well. There it is there. 41 feet high. And I noticed that in my last video I had two coils. We got up to 80 volts. And I kept moving the coils around. Uh, keep getting different results. It's very strange. I started, uh, I put my hand down in the middle of a coil to lift it up in the air and I realized the volts keep increasing every time I stick my fingers down in the middle of the coil. So I put the coils onto the grounding rod and we got, well we were at 110, 109 volts now officially. Okay, let's show you the circuit here. That green wire, again, is just holding everything taunt. Let me step back just a little bit here. You can see the whole setup. I have, you see, two grounding rods over there now. Um, there's one is zinc plated. Uh, a lot of people were asking me about trying a different type of ground, zinc, and I found that there was absolutely no difference. Uh, both rods are identical in diameter and length and into the ground 20 inches. I would try one and then try the other. There was absolutely no difference. And then I tried both rods as ground together and there was no difference. So it's almost like uh, the results are telling me that it doesn't matter how much metal you have in the ground but it matters more of the depth. The depth is more important as to how much metal you have a ground or what type. Uh, let's see if I can get a little closer view of our circuit here. kind of laying sideways. I have a ground going to each rod right now. There really is no difference if I disconnect one though. You see uh, my negative and positive leads going off to the digital multimeter and the yellow one there is the antenna going over to the top coil these are in series. Bottom coil, that red one connects the two coils together. And this yellow one coming up here is the other end of the coils. Going to the antenna. So both coils are still in between the antenna and our circuit. But now we have the grounding rod going through the coils and again we got 109.4 over 100 volts so far and let's see while we have you there let's check out what our current is right now first time I'm gonna see this myself uh, let's see here Check it here. Okay. Point one. Let's uh, switch this over here. You can see we only had like 70 uh, micro amps before. So this did also increase our current. If I can get the sun glare off of there. 
Now around 84, 83, 85, 83 to 85 micro amps. And while we're doing this, let's check frequency right away. And the coils must greatly reduce the frequency. As you're seeing, I can't even get a reading of kilohertz at all. So we must be even below a thousand CPS. So that's where we're at. Over 100 volts so far. Very, very, very low frequency now. I'll have to uh, check that with another device maybe to see what the frequencies are actually at. Uh, until we meet again. Signing off.